Good morning, folks. The days and days of solar quiet were ended abruptly yesterday as the solar tornado dancing over the northeastern limb lifted and released. Large-scale fields in the upper corona were seen lifting first, clearing the way for the lower altitude filament to eject. In a bit of a chain reaction event, this eruption was followed by a filament release to the south, likely triggered by the first release. And despite the filament CMEs, the X-ray flux remains low and we are still without solar flaring above low C range. The minor events are likely all we're getting without some sunspot complexity. They are magnetically spread and simple. My eye goes to the limb for the next one. Solar wind. Amidst the intermittent denser waves, we also saw a speed rise late last night. It wasn't much, but it was enough to bump us back into a bit of magnetic instability took a gamma burst yesterday from Orion as well. Coming over the northeastern limb, we now see the next coronal hole, and as you watch it come in here in 211 angstroms, let's confirm that the next earthquake uptick is approaching. Last one ended around the 28th, and we could be back in the swing of things as early as tomorrow. The interplanetary magnetic fields of that coronal hole are arriving at Earth now. Quick peek in on the polar ice, the Arctic has bounced back from their lows the last couple of years, but is on a month-long melt surge, and after smashing high ice records for three years in a row, the southern winter is highly affected by El Nino, which includes the stagnation event you see in July. Typhoon in the West Pacific, slowly skipping towards Japan while a new storm forms to the south near Vanuatu. East Pacific hurricane has matured and has decided it is going to take a run at Hawaii. Alert, Islanders. Over in the United States, the upper Midwest is going to get pounded again. Saskatchewan got smacked with tornadoes off this convergence, and the collision of air masses will drop severe weather tonight again. Over in Europe, it is that same Atlantic low creeping ever closer to the coastlines now. Weather shares, please. Down under, it's the area touched by the convergences reaching up here from the Antarctic lows. Same as always. The featured public video today is I wish I knew this when I woke up. Are you scared of Jade Helm? Harp? Worried about a killer asteroid? Yeah, you better take a few minutes and watch that video. It is found in today's links, or you could just Google I wish I knew this when I woke up. Website members, hour and 40 minutes of fly on the wall yesterday, including the return of Kong Papu Yen, and a conversation for the truly open-minded. Watch how pressure dictates the current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh,